it's a small organization whose main focus is environmental conservation activism education and advocacy with emphasis on young children and uh, not just young children on their own but young children in their homes in their schools and in the communities where they live our dream scenario is to over the years create a generation of consciously environmental citizens and that is what we have done in the past decade with uh, simple humble strides but uh, if you see the way the world is changing at the moment in every other state in every other country you find that there is a lot of there are floods there is uh, famine there is uh, when 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 the when the when it, when it is hot it scorches when it rains there are floods how many trees have you planted this far and how many kids are involved in this project the beautiful aspect of uh, what we have managed to achieve so far as it wants go green is that we have morphed starting off from being into at, uh, about 5,000 households within Kampala and the surrounding areas now find us with a network of over 50 districts with a primary, a primary school network that spans over thousands of schools. We are looking at having, having a total reach of about 1.2 million children. The entire continent, and especially in East Africa, they're yeah. experiencing these uh, torrential rains. There yeah. are floods everywhere in Kenya. Over 200 people have died yeah. as a result of these uh, floods. Uh, your take? The biggest and the most important cause for this by default is climate change. However, it cannot be looked at in isolation. You need to look at it holistically because there is rapid population growth in almost every other African country at the moment. And the kind of cities that were built were built and planned for a population that is not <laughs> as vibrant and as huge as it is right now. So then there is a strain on, uh, on the economy, on the facilities, drainage, so that when now the, the rains come, because of all these effects of um, climate change, they come with the floods, they, they are torrential, and they find a city whose drainage is not up to speed, then they will, they will sweep through. What our response to climate change so far is, is, is lacking, it is wanting which means it is going to get worse before it gets better. The unpredictable uh, weather patterns, yes. uh, like you collectively said, governments, in most cases, they are not prepared. They are yeah. inept at uh, responding. Yeah. How, what can they do? We need to take advantage of technology. They are, they are early warning systems, uh, climate smart actions from the meteorological department of how to predict what is to come how it can come, and then how they can possibly curb it. Because in some of these places, in the settlements, in the, in, 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 in the towns, the drainage system has always been bad. So anybody knows that it is a recipe for disaster. So in some of these areas, gradually, they need to start to rework the drainage systems to suit the population that has rapidly grown.